Hello everyone, well today I've got another Theo Klein vacuum to look at, although it doesn't say Theo on this one, it just says Klein. That's because this is a slightly older toy vacuum, I don't think you can buy this anymore, I've not seen it for many years. I've owned this since new and I've had it oof, probably 15 years or more, but this is a Hoover model based on a Hoover model and it's actually based on a Hoover Alpina although not in a colour that I've ever seen the Hoover Alpina right let's find which side will open I don't know what this is going to be like because I've not seen it for for ages oh crikey that's better than I thought I didn't didn't realize oh it does it does actually have the Hoover logo on it I didn't I didn't think so. Wow. Let's get all the bits out. Okay, I've not seen this for a long time. Oh, wow. <laughs> it even has a little me uh, metal plastic container with a shaker. But I have a feeling that that shaker, <laughs> the holes unless it's sealed up it might well be no it's not how ludicrous is that of course i can put something else in there but the polystyrene balls that are in that shaker they were actually come out i didn't i've completely forgotten about that let's see what else still got all the instructions no i, I don't remember it having the Hoover logo and I'm just thinking did I stick that on but no it, it is definitely part of it but as you can see and it's a lot it, I thought it I always thought it was red because it looks red on the box but it's in fact orange well orange and blue but apart from the color being completely wrong it is more or less the correct shape for a Hoover Alpina. Got the wheels at the back. Obviously, this is bagless. A bagless Hoover Alpina. That is a huge capacity. Be able to get loads in there. And that must be the on off switch. Obviously does take batteries you can see it I mean it's all you can see a lot of the gubbins inside I've no idea how this performs but uh, we'll soon find out when I put some batteries in this for the first time in many years I think it takes C size as far as I remember going to come off it's all it feels a little bit brittle I had to fiddle around a bit to get the battery cover off but uh, I've done it now and as you can see it's absolutely look at that shine it's glistening little tip do not store and I'm sure most of you know this do not store any battery operated toys or electronics or battery operated anything don't store them away with their batteries in because when you eventually come to look at them again you might find the batteries have leaked and completely ruined your product so I very sensibly took the batteries out so these this is actually D size batteries this one takes not C two of them one with the positive up and one with the positive down and then we put the cover on attach the screw again and hopefully as I say, it's many, many years since I've taken this out of the box. Hopefully it will work. I can't see any reason why it shouldn't. On this toy Hoover Alpina, the on-off switch is a slider control here. Whereas on the real thing, that would have been an electronic speed control on certain models, of course. And here, we would have had on-off switch and automatic cord rewind. Not quite as detailed as some of the later Theo Klein models, especially the Miele ones, where you'd have an embossed plug 
to symbolize that's where the plug would go but no a bit more basic on this one but as long as it works I'm not complaining I'm not keen on the color I would have preferred it to have been in one of the official colors that the Alpina came in and as far as I know it never came in orange green and blue I think it came in a blue but yes I think I've got one about that sort of blue but it was all blue but anyway this was made for young vacuum cleaner enthusiasts or anyone who <laughs> anyone who wanted to use a vacuum I do like the proper Hoover logo though on there that is it's very good now here's the bagless container and I think we have to move that always a bit worried about things being in storage for so long because you know things can happen plastic can become brittle now we can see it's got quite a big fan I'm not sure if you can see that just behind the grill we can see a large fan and it's about the same size as that opening so yeah so where so long since I've used this I'm not sure where we actually empty it that's bizarre there must be a way of emptying this <laughs> I'm just gonna have to check the instructions because to me that looks like a sealed box I know it's got the opening there for the fan oh well there look it's open at the front so you must have to just tip it out because this is where we connect the hose so it goes like that that's it Ooh, there we go that's it right I was flummoxed for a moment there right so I don't like this this is another thing it's not authentic obviously look at that I haven't even tried to copy the proper nozzle but I'm missing now I'm sure I've seen it there should be is it still in the box there should be an angled piece I think yes and on the box it's yellow oh no well it's pictured yellow on the box but in reality it's green so it might be easier to connect up the hose first to there and then what's that there we are so we do have a sort of a swivel hose but it oh, it's very stiff and again that doesn't resemble anything that Hoover produced and that goes on there and of course the hose isn't the correct colour either but I'm sure any child that wanted a toy vacuum well, it moves well um, probably wasn't bothered that it wasn't in the authentic colours <laughs> that seems pretty strong compared to the newer ones actually the wand so that fits into the handle of course and then this rather awful little nozzle I've no idea how this is going to perform I can't even remember using this I probably didn't because back in the day I don't think I'd have bought any uh, extra polystyrene balls or known where to get them from I think this was I got this before the internet had really taken off you know so I would probably have to go to a craft shop or something but I'm going to leave that as it is because I think they are the ones that came with it and I'll use some of my stash some of my multicolored balls there but yeah it's uh, it's nice to have and I think they're, they're pretty rare I've not seen I've not seen any I probably would buy another if I saw one especially if they did one you know in a different color silver would be nice they do a pure power which I'll be showing you as well I've done a pure power on my channel but I've got a different colored Theo Klein pure power as well just the same it's probably got the same sort of motor in because it's got this sort of 
a bagless arrangement with a fan behind, but in the upright. Okay, let's have a go. In fact, look, I'm putting all of it down. Oh dear, it's a big pile. Well, in fact, I haven't turned it on yet, have I? Might not work, and then what will I do? I'm going to try it first then with the with the just the hose end. Okay, here goes. Oh well, it's working. It's nice and quiet as well. You can see everything collecting in the clear container. I think the best way to empty this is to put it on its end, stand it on its end, we'll give it a tap so all the dirt falls down to the bottom so when I take it out it shouldn't spill out from the top. There we are, it's a bit stiff. Oh, just a couple have got past the uh, container somehow. There we go, move that, and as you can see, look, all the bits trapped inside. This is probably better than the uh, <laughs> a bagless Hoover cleaner nowadays. But I think this uh, motor arrangement that uh, Theo Klein have used in this seems better than the um, models you can buy now. It seems a good a good system. Anyway, very successful using just the handle but I'm going to now attach the wand with this awful nozzle but as long as it picks up it does have a little groove which does help to stop the snow plowing so hopefully most of the polystyrene balls will go through there and into the opening and then up the tube Well this Uva Alpina has picked up quite a lot as you can see from the bagless container but it's still spreading out a lot of the dirt, some of it's stuck on the underside of the nozzle and uh, it's a bit uh, it's a bit hard going. I think it's quite full, what's happening with this is that the fan, obviously when the machine's used like this, the fan becomes blocked fairly quickly. Wow, that's something I should try, actually. I wonder what happens if I was to, to turn the machine on now with it in the upright position. Well, as you saw, the polystyrene balls, most of them, stayed where they were and the fan 
is still half showing so it should have suction well I'm going to try it then by using the Alpina in this position and see if I can finish picking up all the bits Well there you go, the Hoover Alpina did manage to pick everything up but it took quite some time but everything eventually made its way inside this bagless container. Well that's the end of today's video, oh, I need to oil those wheels. It's not a bad little vacuum this one, it's nice that it's a Hoover brand. The shape's authentic but of course the colours are completely wrong. I'm just thinking how wonderful it would have been to have a toy Hoover Sensor Tronic. Oh, I don't think they ever made one of those. They did make a Hoover toy Turbo Power, which didn't actually work. It just had a brush at the bottom, didn't make a noise, no batteries. I had one of those and I foolishly sold it. I can't believe it. I, I think it went to another collector, but I wish I hadn't got rid of that because I haven't seen another Hoover turbo power toy one well ever <laughs> but anyway I'm quite happy to have the machines I've got including this fairly rare now I would have thought Hoover Alpina by Theo Klein that's the end of today's video if you have any comments or questions about this vacuum cleaner please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video bye for now